So here we have two different types, two more different types of dragon fruit. I made a, a video a little while ago about yellow dragon fruit. These are the more common ones that you see. You have, uh, this is the red flesh dragon fruit here. <clears throat> so inside is a red flesh. And this is going to be a yellow flesh. I'm sorry, a white flesh inside, kind of like the yellow dragon fruit was. So they call this Pitaya Roja and then Pitaya Blanco. Blanca, um, which just means Pitaya is what they call it. It's a pretty cool tree. I'll, I'll put up a, a picture of what it looks like in the beginning. It's like a cactus, a really tall cactus that kind of hangs down like a weeping willow and the fruit grow on that. So it's pretty cool. I wanted to show you here what the flesh looked like. So again, this is the red one. You can see the difference here uh, with the leaves. So if you see here, the leaves are kind of red in here in the middle part of them. And then these are all green, yellow, the green leaves. So this is the white one again. That's how you can kind of tell the difference. So if you look it up, really pretty color. Really nice contrast with the white one. Um, but this one, the red one's more expensive. The yellow the yellow dragon fruit's kind of in the middle as far as price wise per pound. You have the red ones most expensive than the yellow than the white. Normally it kind of just depends. Um, the red one's supposed to be higher. It has higher vitamin C and antioxidants in it. They also say that dragon fruit's really cool. Um, a really good vegetable that can actually help with like type two diabetes, um, and, and kind of regulates your, your, uh, glucose levels. And also, it, it really good antioxidants, like I was saying, cancer, anti-cancer fighting properties. So I'll show you, kind of cut it, and you can either scoop it out with a spoon, or I just take it and peel it off, throw it in smoothies. It's really good to eat on its own. Red fruit's going to be a little bit sweeter. Um, the white one, not as sweet. It almost has like a kiwi flavor and kind of a kiwi look, you know, just it, instead of being green, it's white. Or you can do like a mango. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. But you just cut it into squares. And then you just pop it out like that. And so you can see there, you can just pull it off and eat it. It's another way to eat it. But really great fruit. Um, the red ones are my favorite. They're going to be sweeter as well. But the either ones, either way, super healthy for you. Really great to put in smoothies. Um... Or if you're making yogurt or, you know, a lot of people make now acai bowls with like acai powder or berries, yogurt, different fruits and nuts in it. This is a really great addition.